Happy Halloween, everybody, and I figured what a better way to celebrate it now than to do a VHS update for today, since today is October 31st, 2012, and I have three of these tapes. I got them all earlier this month. Two of these tapes I got from my friend Chris, and when he visited earlier, back way earlier this month, and the other tape I got last week at the Salvation Army store in Averill. I'll show you the two tapes. I'll be showing you the two tapes that I got from Chris first. So, Chris, if you're watching, that is, if you, I, I'm sure you still have power, or, or if you, from, unless you, unless, unless National Grid hasn't come in, but I think, I, I think you have. Anyways, let's show the, the tape. Now, two of these tapes are Disney, and the and one is not. First up, we have this tape of DuckTales, Seafaring Sailors. There's, then you see, here's the spine, top, Upper spine and the back. back. And it has two episodes of DuckTales. Has the episode Sphinx for the Memories and All Ducks on Deck. Heck, so it's pretty so it's pretty fun of a great TV show having both Huey, Dewey, Louie, Scrooge, McDuck, and of course Donald. Donald. And after all, it's it is pretty pretty fun indeed. Anyways, I'm going to show you the tape. See, here's the tape. It says Seafaring Sailors. And would you believe this? There's no there's no print date on here. Here yet, but it is a sticker label. Label that's on there. But either way, if you like the DuckTales series, this is for you. Perhaps Aubrey S. 1987 TV Studios uh, would might might also like this tape. Tape 2. Too, because I know he he's like he has seen Ducktales stuff, particularly since we know he how much he loves the move the film Ducktales, the movie Treasure of the Lost Lamp, which which we also which I also got. Uh, you already know about that. I don't know what previews are on the stove because I haven't put this tape in yet. So there, and the next tape. This is in a this is in a case case, but this case is more like a case you'd see at pu at public libraries, and the these types of cases are done used at my Haverhill Public Library downtown. This tape is this is the Happiest Millionaire, digitally mastered, mastered. Now this is a great movie. This also marked the big film debut for Leslie Ann Warren, and as you know, and Fred Mc. This is also Fred McMurray's sec second Disney film. Remember, his first was Follow Me, Boys, which we've got. I got on DVD. Well, it's my that's my dad's, but beginning. But this is is good. There's also a DVD version of the, this film was also released on DVD. I don't have that DVD yet, but I could try to find it if I can. Anyways, here is the spine and the back. No critic review for for this one either. And this version, this is actually an edited version for the tape, being at only 144, because the original theatrical or roadshow versions had it at more 160, while the roadshow had it at 172 minutes in nearly three hours. They probably edited this just for time, because some things were cut. But I know, I know this is not, of course, this is not the first release of this VHS release of this movie, though, because I know there's also a Neon Mickey, it's either that or a Sorcerer Mickey tape that was released, and I know John Man 4 and 8 did have 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 an early tape, ha, have a tape of that. I don't know if he still does it or not, 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 or whether or not he may have gotten rid of it, so, but any, I, anyways, I'll show you the tape now, have to open it like this and see. It says the happiest millionaire. Now, some, now you may think with this label, you may think this is a bootleg, but and there is no print date here either. For but it's actually, but it's not. Not this is act. This is a real tape. So because this wasn't recorded off a of television, so so therefore this is a real tape, despite the case, but. Either way, at least the Happiest Millionaire, it is a great movie musical indeed. He probably a Disney he fan, so So Happiest Millionaire, there you go. And this last tape, the tape I got at Salvation Army, which I got last Tuesday, and since it's Halloween, because speaking of Halloween, I figured this last tape happens to be none other than It's the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. That's right, Peanuts Classic. Classic. I I also watched this tape last week. The, uh, about a few hours after I got this, I might plan to watch this tape again today. 
Of course, this special will also air tonight on ABC at 8 o'clock, though I'm probably not going to be watching it, watching it on ABC due to the live shows of The X Factor on Fox beginning tonight, so you know. Anyways, here's the spine and the back, and it says, Trick or Treat, Charlie Brown, for children of all ages, nominated for an Emmy Award. I, now, this it still happens to be the best Halloween special of all time, and pretty much the second best Peanuts television special they ever did, be pretty much behind the Charlie Brown Christmas one, which they did the year before. For this still is a great special from 1966, when ever... ABC has, show, has shown this, but they weren't the original network to air it. They CBS was the original network to air it back in October of 1966. Six, and when ABC has shown it, they've shown two different versions of this. One has been an edited version, which is only to fit the 30-minute time length to make room for more ads, which means cutting out some scenes, including the World War I piano medley that Schroeder plays, which those four songs... It's a long rate way to Tipperary, long, long trail, I think the pack of the bags, and of course the Roses of Picardy is the last. That's right, two happy songs and two sad songs to see how Snoo Snoopy shows a different emotion, being dancing to the happy ones and then feeling sad for, and needing to cry for the sad songs. But speak, but the other times when it's been, one, other times they've shown, own it in one hour and show the full version along with the short You're Not Elected, Charlie Brown. Uh, which usually falls since there was a they kind of relevant since in you're not elected Linus does make a speech mentioning the great pumpkin and and I like this special a lot in fact my one of my favorite scenes definitely involves Snoopy since he was dressed up as the World War one flying ace when he jumps up gets onto that onto his doghouse and pretends that he's flying up in the air trying to fight off against the Red Baron. Well, it kind of makes sense since we know that year the Royal Guardsmen released a song called Snoopy vs. the Red Baron. And then, and you know, that Snoopy and Red Baron thing also applies during the Christmas season too with the Christmas thing which gets played on the radio around the holiday time. But still, this is still fun. Of course, also... Having Charlie Brown get his co costume not looking good, being a bunch of holes on one cloth, trying to not be the best ghost. Okay, for that, having he ends up getting nothing but rocks for trick or treat, because that's pretty not good, not bad at not good at all. But it's but it is so it's fun. And see, here's the tape sticker label. I'm gonna rewind it. No print date, but it has a sticker saying it's the Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown on it, being that it is a Paramount tape. Tape, but uh, as I said, it's the Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown. Still a great peanut special. So if you if, and if you really have no other great Halloween specials to watch, then I recommend you watch this one. This is still the best Halloween special ever. No doubt about it. Okay, there you go. Thanks for watching this update for, for this Halloween. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, until next time, have a great Halloween!